folks, my name is Natalia Vendito and I'm a program manager for JavaScript and Node.js end-to-end -end developer experience in Azure. Today we will talk about Next.js supported features on Azure static web apps. The exciting news is that now we can build and deploy highly performant SEO-friendly Next.js applications with zero configuration. Let's see how. Until very recently, Azure static web apps supported only the static HTML export. But here comes the great news. We have now enabled support for hybrid rendering, which will allow you to decide what's the best architecture for your application. Let's quickly discuss the two pre-rendering types. By default, Next.js statically pre-renders every page, which means it generates an HTML page for each file under the slash pages folder. This is why Next.js is known as an SSG or static site generator framework because instead of having the browser interpret some logic to output the HTML structure and initialize the DOM on page load, it will create each page at build time. That doesn't mean that pages will be completely static. Once a browser loads the page, it will also hydrate it with the minimal necessary JavaScript to run animations and other interactive features. Another type of pre-rendering is server-side rendering known as SSR. This method generates HTML on request. That means that when a user requests a page or route, the page will be generated on the fly by the server. For both methods, one pages are pre-rendered, we will cache them and serve them via a CDN like Azure Content Distribution Network that will improve performance, particularly for the slower on request server side pre-rendered pages. As you have already guessed, a hybrid architecture type for Next.js makes us both giving us full control to decide what pages will be statically generated or generated at build time and which pages will be generated server-side on demand. No matter the method, it's very likely you want to dynamically fetch data during the pre-render generation. Let's head over to our trivia application to see the methods that will help with that in action. This application is fetching an array of questions and right and wrong answers from a core SQL Cosmos CV database. We are implementing an Apollo server to fetch data with a GraphQL API. As per Next.js standards and best practices, we have a GraphQL API directly under API slash pages. We are using the Azure Cosmos SDK to export our query resolvers. If we inspect our index file, we can see the method get server side props that helps us with getting props or data when generating our pages server side. In this case, the props come from querying the database. This is because the trivia page should change with every request. We want new questions to render every time. But if we play the game, we will also see that each question page has a link to a description page that tells us more about the category of the question. Those pages don't change after generation, no matter how many times we reload them. And for that reason, they have been pre-rendered as static pages. If we go to pages category slash slug, we can see that we are implementing the get static props methods to get dynamic routes for each page based on the props, in this case, the slug. I love it. So, when do we choose server-side rendering over static generation? Next.js recommends to always statically generate content, even when you have thousands of pages with a few exceptions. The most important use case for server-side rendering is the one when pages cannot be generated before a user requests them because it requires up-to-date or to the moment when the request is made data. For that, we use server-side rendering. Both static generated pages pre-rendered at build time and server-side rendered pages pre-rendered on request help us improve the SEO of our websites as well as our performance scores. Speaking of which, we are also adding support for image optimization, enabling the import of next slash image component this native component is a wrapper for the HTML image tag, which enables on-the-fly resizing and caching for subsequent requests. It also has the ability to reformat to WebP. 
All these features greatly improve perceived load time and contribute to exponentially better scores for Core Web Vitals. Thank you very much and happy coding! Bye.